Welcome back to the Nihil Ch Channel. Like I said when I left off last time, we're going to start with talking to Francisco. What you want? Let's start with Pablo. <laughs> Brother, did you hear? Pablo's in camp. Hmm. I know, I can't believe he actually came all this way. Hmm. You think he's Thinking. got what it takes, though? Thinking. I mean, it's not like he can talk the bad guys to death. <laughs> I wouldn't underestimate right. him. Someone who's terrified of danger but decides to face it anyway, that's real courage. <laughs> yeah, you might be onto something there. I know this, though. <laughs> we better not let anything happen to him, or his mom is going to haunt the hell out of us. Uh, yeah, it does sound that way. How's it going? So, what do you think of our new allies? I don't know. They seem like a bunch of puffed-up rich kids to me. Although that pair from Nibosa are interesting. Better that than nothing. Oh? Yeah, that guy Raphael is a solid arm wrestler, and his pal Borislav is real sharp. Speaking of which, have you heard of something called Michael's Aegis? No. What is that? Eh, some kind of important shield. Raphael says it's an old Nibosan legend. Supposedly can block any attack, no matter how strong. I want it. You should ask him about it. Why? Don't do that. It's just some old story. Is it? Like a guy who can summon lightning? Mm. I'm just saying. Could be useful. Could be. Rock of Ages. Oh my gosh. It's supposed to be like Rock of Ages yeah. reference. What does Andrea think of our new allies? <laughs> our camp sure has gotten lively. Maybe. That's one way to put it. Not a fan of our new allies. <sighs> They're acting like we've already won. It's ridiculous. We never should have brought these dang nobles to the battlefront. They don't know the first thing about winning a war. All they can do is talk. Hmm. Bear with it for now. I know it doesn't seem like it, but we need them. Not every ally has to help us on the battlefield. Hmm? If we don't win on the battlefield, nothing else matters. I mean, your sister helped us for a long time not on the battlefield, so... I think you would understand that. Dane wants to talk. What does Dane want? Sir. Oh. <sighs> Dane, good work out there. I should be the one congratulating you. That battle was a complete rout. It's very impressive. This'll go a long way. And for the record, I believe you did the smart thing, sparing that Hector fellow. Everyone deserves a chance to be useful. That's cool that after people serve in battles, like, they have more dialogue. I didn't know that. Let's talk to Lenard about things, too. What is it? Hmm. Any thoughts on our new noble allies? Hmm. Plenty, but none I'd speak aloud in polite company. You hate them, don't you? <sighs> Those, these highborn dabble at war like it's a game of parlor cards. And yet, who bears the risk of their wages? The audacity, it's almost breathtaking. Oh, I feel that, Lenard. Hmm. Know where you're coming from, but we can't beat Ballastar without allies. Yes. A fact I know well. Nothing for it but to swallow my pride. Even if my stomach protests. Let's ask him about that shield. Are you the one who told Francisco about some legendary shield? <laughs> you Benarians sure love a good story. Too many have come true. Yeah, I told your friend about the shield. But don't go getting any ideas. That shield can only be wielded by a real warrior, like Lord Corral. He's been looking for it for years. What's so special about an old shield? Ask him yourself. But leave my name out. If he finds out I've been talking about it, he'll pitch a fit. Okay, fair enough. We will ask Corel about it. Uh, let's see what Johanna's working on too, real quick. Hello. What's up? Any thoughts on the rest of our campaign? How do you mean? I mean, even with our new alliance, Ballastar's got more troops and better arms than us. Clara says you're a cunning strategist. Any brilliant ideas I haven't considered? I'm flattered, but I don't think I have much to offer you at the moment. The larger the battle, the more small details matter. I've been trying to get my head around it all, but it's not easy. Maybe you need a break. What do you normally do when you're stuck on a puzzle? I... What? Nothing. Ignore me. 
I'll give it some more thought. Okay. Let's ask Clara what's up with her. Alright. We'll do that in a minute. Let's let's actually finally go uh go talk to all the nobles and stuff. I wanted to fast travel close and then walk in. I'm a little bit leery of just fast traveling into the circle where uh, an event's supposed to happen, because I'm worried it'll break. I don't totally have reason to think that it will, but just yeah, small worries. Um, okay, yeah, we couldn't do this last time, so let's go ahead and spend the 10 to send our people out. I think this is always the same dialogue. Or same little cutscene. We get stuff out of it, though. Undo turn count increase, okay. And we got... Villager rewards, what do we get? 1650 gold, okay. I'll take that. Take that, too. Immediately refunded that. Um... Also, fast travel this back. Which is not what I uh, intended. Can I just go to the Taskmaster again? Yeah. Okay. What do we have to do? Yeah, there's the battle or whatever. Appointment ceremony. Give an elemental grimoire to Albrecht. Alright, we can do all those. Let's come see what our new allies want to talk about. Oh, he's scary looking. Uh, Commander, over here. We were just talking about what a piss poor performance Ballastar's forces put on. Honestly, who would have expected it? The man terrorized the continent for two years. Now his troops are falling to yours at every step. Yeah, we're we're pretty More good. More like tripping over their own feet. <laughs> I don't want to tempt fate, but at this rate, it seems obvious where things are heading. What do you think? I think if it's as easy as all that, it's a pity it took us two years to stand up to that brute. After all, time is precious to an old hag like me. Here now, you're as spry as any one of us. I saw you out there today, barking orders left and right. I saw the enemy fleeing her. Must have been afraid of Lady Sobek's mighty nagging. Rude man, teasing your elders. Perhaps that's enough chatter for today. The High Commander must be bored out of his mind. Oh no, not at all. It's a momentous achievement after all. The first victory of the Alliance. It should serve as a solid foundation for whatever comes next. Excellent. We should raise a glass or two this evening. I've given orders to empty Castilian's larders and prepare a feast. What? A feast? That's the spirit. First we take the bastards home, then we dance on his tables. I don't know Nothing that that's like a good idea. adding insult to injury. Enemy morale will take a hit, that's for certain. All the better. With all due respect, Ballastar is still out there. Don't you think this is a little premature? Yes. What do you mean? We've won a tremendous victory. If anything, we should be celebrating more. No. Go easy on the young man. This sort of politics is new to him. In a war of this scale, keeping spirits high is paramount. Yeah, but... Events like this also help foster good relations between new allies. Well put. Come now, I Commander. Don't spoil the mood. Let's commemorate this occasion with a night to remember. I don't like it. Of course. Looking forward to it. We're going to have so many guards posted, if it's up to me, because this just sounds like a bad idea. Welcome. Can I hand you one of these? Hi there. I heard you're looking for mm. grimoires. Yes, we have a growing number of spellcasters in camp, and we're running low. Yeah, let's give him a common one. We aren't <laughs> using many of those. Here, I hope these help. I thank you. They will. Thank you. Not hard at all. Welcome. Hi there. Albrecht, what are you up to? Ah. Researching mercenary companies. They've gained considerable power in our absence. You mentioned a man named Emil once. What do you know about him? Hmm. He's as mercenary as mercenaries get. No allegiance but gold. Have you met? 
Once or twice, but I mostly know him by reputation. Intriguing. Mm, well, he's certainly striking enough. Seducing rich noblewomen, recruiting criminals and reprobates, flitting between factions. His company has made quite the splash in Lamprecht these past two years. Ah. Worried we might and wind up fighting them. Hmm. Something like that. I'm thinking that's a little bit of a tease to uh, what we're going to be dealing with. Okay, I guess I can't talk to all these guys. It's weird that they bothered to add this in the top, like what they think of me. If I can't do much about it. Is this the Anaspida thing? Uh, yeah. Okay. Not trying to deal with that yet. I'm trying to talk to her. Okay, can't. It's weird that she has white hair in her portrait, but not here. Let's ask Mateus what he thinks. Benice's minions aren't half as skilled as him. They left a fortified position to attack a foe with superior numbers. Utterly, utterly foolish. Hmm. Or we just outsmarted them. We left holes in our formation to draw them out. Clever, was that your idea? Mm -mm. No, it was Clara's. Believe me, if we had to rely on my wits, we'd have died a long time ago. Fascinating. May I share something with you? I've always felt that my life lacked for nothing, yet see me, seeing a man like you lead an army like this, I must confess a certain jealousy. Uh, well... What, what do you mean? <laughs> Never mind. Hmm. Alright, let's talk about the shield. Excuse me, Lord Corell. I was wondering if I could ask you about Michael's Aegis. Where did you hear that name? Just chatter among the soldiers. <sighs> Loose-lipped idiots. What do you know about my family, House Velisica? Not much. Oh. Uh. Let's ask him about it. Based on what I saw in Vuger, I know your province has forced labor in its mines. The hell we do! What you saw in Vuger was Ballastar's doing, and an abomination. We've got conscripted labor in the mines, that's true enough. Okay. But it applies to all who come of age, high and low alike, and we pay fair wages for it. My house comes from working men, coal dust in our lungs, guild blood in our veins. And that shield forged by our founder is the symbol. So you want it back to restore your family's honor? Not quite sure. Bah, nothing that flowery. Ever since this war started, we've had competitors nibbling at our business. It's thanks to their greed and treachery that Ballastar was able to seize Vuger. I want the shield so I can use it to bash some teeth in. Send a message. So yeah, sort of. And that message is? The North is not for sale. Okay. Lord Corell? I'd like to help you find Michael's Aegis. Eh? What for? You're not one of those treasure hunters, are you? No, my lord. But you're on our side now. Keeping your house strong is good for the Alliance. And a stable, self-reliant Nybosa is bad for Ballastar. Yes, it is. <laughs> I knew we made the right choice throwing in with you. Well, High Commander, on behalf of House Velisica, I welcome your aid. How does this help us? So where do we start? When House Zerpial first invaded Nybosa, I was around your age. This was back when we were a kingdom, you understand. Before my father surrendered his crown to keep our family in power. Back then, the shield was kept in Vuger. When Ludovictus attacked, we sent it away. Unfortunately, the courier never reached his destination, and the shield vanished. Once the war was done and things settled a bit, my father commissioned this. Is this... Soul Stone? An eye for rare metals. I like you more by the minute. Right. Michael's Aegis is studded with gems and they hum. This stone is from the same vein. The closer it gets to its own kind, the more it resonates. Where am I going to find this? Interesting. So all I have to do is carry this on me and keep an eye out. I'm not giving it to you. I thought you wanted my help. Not enough to trust you with the key to my family's treasure. But when I narrow down the shield's location, I'll be grateful for your help killing whatever bastards got it. 
Okay. All right then. I'll be waiting. So, we don't necessarily have to be the one to find it, I guess. Just fight for it. A little bit confused on that. Anybody else around here want to talk? Yes, they do. And what's that? The following provisions have been requested by the Lords and Ladies of the Alliance for tonight's banquets. Lord Carroll requests two roasted boars, three casks of ale, and a hot chocolate fountain. Lord Powell requests whatever passes for good wine around here, any meat but beef, and a creamy dessert, or perhaps a sorbet. Lord Mattias requests Ortolan Bunting, requests one plate for each for the whole table to dry. Champagne with gold flakes, like they drink in Lero Yar. And whitefish caviar on unsalted crackers. Lady Katarina requests red wine, steak bloody, and dessert coffee if available dark. Lord Alexander requests something wet with alcohol in it and whatever the soldiers are eating that's actually edible. Oh, that's it. Any items listed herein should first be requisitioned from the enemy provisions and Castilian's larders, and if not found there, requested of our hosts. Hmm, that's a bit much. I understand why it's like, hmm. I've been expecting you. Um, no, you're not gratitude. the one that wants to talk. Who wants to talk? Edie wants to talk, okay. Greetings. Hmm. Edie, what do you think of our new allies? <gasps> oh, Eden, they're insufferable. Why, what's wrong? It's these Alliance soldiers. Were they all raised in barns? <laughs> they're so uncouth. They swill beer like it's water. And the things that come out of their mouths... I've never seen such abhorrent behavior. Not even when I was preaching in the slums. You'd think troops fighting for an alliance of lords would have a little more dignity. <laughs> Are they really right. that much worse than us? <sighs> they make Francisco look like Marshall. Wow. <sighs> I can't stand it. You must appoint me as, as chief decorum officer or some such thing. <sighs> I'll think about it. Well, I don't want to make enemies of our new allies so that's also why i hesitated to call the guy out on what he'd been you know the forced labor and it's interesting the sort of wrinkle that throws into it that everybody no matter your status has to do it and it's like a thing of pride but it's also still kind of forced labor like i don't know i'm curious what you guys think about that well, well. look who it is hey clara i need some advice about joanna this should be good. I need her help with a strategy problem, but it seems like she's having some kind of mental block. How can I help her? I tried asking, but she did that thing she always does. Ah, the old silent act, huh? Yep. That's just how Joanna is. Asking her about herself will get you nowhere. But if you really want to help her, try Porter. The merchant? Why? Merchants are good at observing people. And she's been spending a lot of time at his shop. Okay, that's helpful. I took care of uh, all the shopping, by the way, already. And item management. Almost. I think I forgot to give... I gave Albrecht something there? No. No, it was... Uh, what's his name? Leonard. Oh, I've got to redo all that. That's great. Um, I'll do that real quick and be right back with you. Okay, here's what I decided on. I kept him a little bit less specialized than Albrecht, just so he could take advantage of a little bit more. But I do have a really cool thing set up where he can do this Torrential Rain, uh, potentially in tandem with Albrecht, and then either Storm Strike to do a lot, or Blizzard, and freeze a bunch of people. So that would be pretty cool if I could pull that off. Alright. Let's talk to Porter. Welcome back. Hey, Porter. Would you say you're a good judge of character? Usually. What's wrong? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Mm. Just a customer I'm having a hard time figuring out. Let me guess. Joanna? What is she looking for? How did you know? She's the reason I'm here. In that case, I don't think I'll be much help. She comes by often, but all she does is browse with this really intense expression. I've tried asking her if there's something she wants that I don't have, or if it's a price issue, but she just mumbles something evasive and leaves. Yeah, she's good at that. 
I wish I knew what she's looking for. She's got me questioning my skills as a merchant. Mm. Hello. Let's ask it. Let's uh, ask it. Joanna, you. is there something important you've been trying to find? Excuse me? Earlier, when I asked you how you normally solve hard puzzles, you started to say something. And Porter says you've been hovering around his shop lately, but you never buy anything. Hmm. You've investigated me thoroughly. Fine. It's no big secret. I have a sweet tooth. What? You asked how I solve problems. The answer is, I take a walk and eat something sweet. I figured it was buying something but embarrassing. Strawberry tarts and almond fritters aren't exactly easy to find in an army camp. No? I've been checking Porter's shop for weeks, but he never has anything good. Why didn't you just say something? It's not important. I mean, so how are you going to request that? I get it. I think keeping one of our best tacticians happy is strategically vital. <sighs> Eden's too sweet. All right, where can I buy something like that? Oh, we had asked Porter. Back. Okay. What? She just wanted pastries this whole time? The way she was glaring, I would have thought she was looking for a murder weapon. Do you have anything in stock? Hmm. Let me think. Oh. I have some ginger scones I bought for myself. How much to part with them? Here, please. And tell her I can order more. I know oh. every baker from here to Lampicos. Wow. You are a good merchant. I have a bit of a sweet tooth myself. That was nice of him to share with her. Hello. That smell. Are those meant for me? I'm not presenting them to anyone else, am I? I... Thank you. Well, aren't you gonna eat them? I'm afraid I'm allergic to ginger. Oh no! God damn it! Of course you are. <laughs> well, if you want something else, Porter says he can get it. Just ask. In the meantime, if you're looking for something sweet, you should come to this dumb banquet tonight. I appreciate the offer, but I would rather walk into the sea. I get it. That makes two of us. Thank you for the scones. I'll feed them to the birds. Enjoy the banquet. I'll have some clever ideas for you soon. Looking forward to it. Could also, like, you know, share them with Clara or something. You know, just a thought. Reminds me of, uh, we've got a, uh, Vietnamese store in my area. It's this great market. And I went there the other day on... It's been a little while now, but it was, I think, Chinese New Year, and they were all celebrating, and they sent me home with uh, some special ginger snacks as well, and told me in very broken English that it goes with tea, and it was just such a nice gesture. How's really, really appreciated that. Good tip on that shield. You were right. You mean it's real? Of course it is. It is. And Lord Corral is searching for it. See? I'm not as dumb as people say. I offered to help him look for it, but it could be a while. Well, if you figure out where it is, bring me along. Eager to be a part of history? Nah, I want to test my blade against that thing. Of course you do. A shield that can stop any blow? Sounds like a challenge to me. Uh, of course it is. I appreciate all the skill that's dumping on us after I bought a bunch of stuff. Um, is that everything? Yeah, I guess so. So, the next thing, let me talk to the Taskmaster and see what else did I have to do. Uh, okay, we did that. Appointment ceremony, do the other thing, okay. Do the optional battle. Can I do an appointment ceremony? I don't know. I don't think I, oh, can I? No, I can't. Nobody's unlocked a new class. I did want to look at that, though. Oh, do I need to... What, what is this? Mysterious throwing axe? Where is an enchanted axe at one enemy? That's cool. Troops surge for to inflict damage on an enemy. The skill can only be used after guarding. Power of the skills boosted by the amount of damage blocked. Power boost resets at the end of the turn. 
Can I swap? I forget how I swap those. Ah, here we go. Okay. Hmm. Max health plus one and crit defense plus five. Increases health by six. Well, if I do that, what can I do? Yeah, that's not great. Hmm. Okay. So I can't use that because I don't have the right equipment for it. Can I give him that equipment? No, not if he is going to use what he's using. Um, I probably should be checking these things. Class tree. That Templar thing is really cool. So it's light magic and spears. So I should start training... What's his name? Robert in light magic. And I should start training Eden in elemental magic. I'm realizing. Is there anything else I should be training people in? I don't think so. Vanguard. Sword, plated armor. Okay, that's what he is now. Yeah, let's start training Robert in light magic and Eden in elemental. So let me go make a training plan to set that up. I did not realize that. So, Robert, train in light magic. Can I even make myself, can I put myself in there? No. No, I cannot. Okay, that's fine. Um, I do think I need to switch out some people, though. Yeah, because Johanna finished her thing, so... Yeah, we'll keep her doing that. And start training around that, just to do something else. Repair's got that going. Albrecht. Dane. Okay, I think everybody's good. I might want to train with someone. Let's do it. Um, it does up my stuff with people. My support. What if I train with all? Okay, let's train with Albrecht and train in magic. Where is he? Be hard to win, but that's okay. Yeah. Here we go. I remember the quick time event this time. Oh yeah, he's real good at this. I don't know if we need to win. Yeah, he does a crap ton to me. And guard, oh no. Maybe I should have sparred with somebody else first. He just guards every time. Okay, we still we still got some. I might do that more, we'll see. Can I, actually? Let me check that out. Yeah, I can. No, I can't. Okay. So we'll start training Eden on that. The rest. Who do we want to support with? Uh, we're doing pretty well on all of them. I think we just keep working on the ones that we've already been working on. So let's do a little bit for Clara. Well, well. Look who it is. 
You like tools and weapons. Um, yep, yeah, there's a weapon. Thanks. Can I do well, anything well. else with you? No. Look who it is. Is that all I've got for her right now? Yeah. Albrecht, I've got some things. And then maybe we can do Francisco. Welcome. Um, I'll give you that. I thank you. Welcome. I want to give you that. No, I don't. I'll give you that though. I thank you. Okay, I'm just trying to get it closer. Yeah, I'm thinking we do Francisco. Um, I'm gonna go check what he likes. Francisco likes weapons and food. I guess I should not be surprised by that. Where is he? There he is. Oh, we can visit with him too, so I may How's it do going? that. Yeah, we'll, we'll force train and then maybe do something else. Um, let's talk to him about training. Hmm. Francisco, don't you ever get tired of training so much? Oh. Heck no, my body aches if I don't. Nothing refreshes me like a nice hard workout. <laughs> That's so like you. If I trained like you, I'd be on my back in two days. What'd you say? Now you're just exaggerating. I can't take this. Come on, let's go spar right now. Uh, Can we well. do it later? I'm not really <laughs> in the mood. No way, brother. Procrastination leads to more procrastination. Now let's go. Mm. All right, fine. I should really ride more. I look great on horseback. How's it going? He's so funny. All right. Um. Let's give him that. Thanks. How's it going? Give him one of these beers, I think. Thanks. So close. We'll give him one more. Thanks. Hey. How's it going? Francisco. <sighs> hey, brother. Come over here. I got a question for you. Isn't it customary to grab a drink after battle? And if you're drinking, isn't it normal to start singing? Because Sarah just chased me out, and I gotta tell you what, I think it's pretty unfair. <laughs> you're drunk. Uh-uh. Nuh-uh. You know it takes a lot to get me drunk. I'm just feeling good, that's all. Uh-huh, so Sarah chased you out of the dining area. <clears throat> right, that's what I'm saying. That lady's no fun. You know, back in ye olde times, people knew how it was done. You and some guy, hick, you'd try to kill each other, and then you'd grab a drink and be friends. These days, none of that. People just do the fighting part and forget the rest. <laughs> you ask me, that's the problem with the world nowadays. Not enough people talking like us here. If everyone just got together and had a good drink, but this whole war would be over in one night. Maybe if everyone thought like you. You know what I bet it is? It's all that bubbly, fancy stuff people drink nowadays. You want a proper bar fight, you need a good ale. Sure, Francisco. Anything you say. <sighs> Hey, brother, you know how much I love you, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, you tell me that a lot, especially when you're like this. Next, you'll say, if it weren't for me, you can't imagine what your life would be like. Yeah, brother, if it wasn't for you, I can't even imagine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Man, you're so smart. You know everything. I don't think so. But you know what, brother? I know one thing you don't know. What I think of everybody else around here. Oh, this I can't wait to hear. I knew it. All right, well, hold on. Let me go down the list here. Okay, so first, Leon. That guy nags too much. Don't do this, don't do that. Yeah, Leon's a careful guy. I guess I should have gotten to this earlier, because Sarah and Leon are still around, allegedly. Now, Robin, he's real immature, but we get along. Can't imagine why. Now, on the other hand, Robert, he's like an old man. For some reason, when he talks, I just can't ignore it. Yeah, he's about the only one who can talk any sense into you. Oh, and speaking of old men, that Gilbert can drink. I've never seen anybody else who can keep up with me. Yeah. Tell me about it. Let's see, who's left? Oh, Marcel and Lenard. They were annoying at first, but I gotta say, they've impressed me. High praise. <laughs> Sarah, I like. Great cook. And Andrea, 
Ha, you know me. I love the kind of woman who can kick my butt. Those two are certainly different. But you know what, brother? None of them people matter, because you're still number one in my book. You went through all that just to tell me how great I am. <laughs> well, sure, you know how much I love you, right? Man, if it wasn't for you, I can't even imagine. Here we go again. <sighs> I love Francisco. Um, I mean, who else are my options? I might just do a little more with Francisco and finish him up. Can do stuff with Robin, Vturin, Karen. Yeah, he's one of the only other How ones that we're really talking to, so. I'm trying to focus and just get high with a couple of people. Let's talk about great drinks. Hmm. Speaking Thinking. of drinks, don't you think today's Thinking. a perfect day to share one together? Ah. Do you ever think it's a bad day? Oh. Nope. Come on, brother, let's share a glass. <laughs> You're going to drink right. the whole camp dry at this rate. No way, that's Gilbert. I can't keep up with that old timer. I stand corrected. You can drain the camp together. <laughs> now we're talking. Horses should be treated as good as people. No better. Okay. Um, the last thing. Can I talk with Dane? No, I cannot right now. Gabriel's interesting... Now let's talk to Livana. She's pretty interesting. I've been expecting you. Yeah, let's talk over war plans. Um Ooh, both good options. Talk about Joanna. Hmm. You know, you remind me of someone. Another soothsayer in camp. Mm -mm. No, nothing like that. Just someone with a similar personality. Quiet, hard to read, and you both deal in dark magic. Such superficial things don't interest me, and they hold little significance in the grand scheme of fate. Always with the fate stuff, I swear, if I hear that word one more time... How do you know it's not fate telling me that... It's not fate that I'm telling you this. That in this whole big wide world, the two of you are here in this camp at the same time. Mm -mm. Only a fool attempts to read destiny on such a grand scale. And yet, at the same time, one life can shake the foundations of this world. Okay, well, the person I was talking about is Joanna, by the way. If you have a chance, you should go introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. If fate wills it, so it shall be. Every conversation I have with you ends the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of know what he means. Known a couple of people like that, that it's just like, eh, if it happens, it happens to absolutely everything. And it's like, come on. Um, let's see. Okay, so. Albrecht, we're almost done. Andrea, Francisco's a lot better. Clara, okay. We're, we're doing alright. Um... I don't want to overwhelm you guys with lore at the end. I, I think... How, how many entries do we have? Five. We're just going to do them every so often. So we'll do Pavlo here. A fixture of the Benarian countryside, Pavlo is a local peddler who traffics in basic trade goods between villages like Mora and Kallus, but calls Lynetta home. With a reputation for being a bit long-winded, it's not unusual for people to duck out of sight when Pavlo approaches, lest they lose half their afternoon in conversation. Nonetheless, Pavlo is widely understood to be an honest man and a dependable business partner, generally beloved by all. When Eden and his mercenary crew first left Lanetta, Pavlo nearly went with them, but for his ailing mother. With her recent passing, there is no longer anything keeping him there, so he's finally come to join the fight. Though some may be skeptical of his presence on a battlefield, Pavlo is surprisingly reliable in combat, if only for the strangely positive boost in morale his presence seems to bring. Let's do bandits. Since ancient days, bandits have plagued the continent of Artemisia, their numbers waxing and waning with the general well-being of the common peoples. They tend to arise from among the poor and desperate, particularly neglected veterans following wars marked by mass conscription, and most often turned to lives of predation as a means of basic survival. There's a lot of that in real history, too. Among the common peoples, bandits' reputation vary, ba vary based on their targets. 
Those who prey on the poor are reviled. Those who target the wealthy, on the other hand, enjoy widespread public support, and are often mythologized into folk heroes. As the number of bandits in a region tends to indicate the failures of local nobility, and as pointing this out can invite punishment, one often finds the paradoxical phrase, no bandits here, on merchant maps, marking particularly dangerous areas. Some scholars believe this to be the world's oldest recorded example of satire. Interesting. And then I really want to get into this Book of Malice thing, because we have uh, Gilbert using this. According to House Zerpiel, their line's early days have been lost to history. The truth is far more sinister. One notable omission from Family Chronicles is an individual called Saris the Damned. The youngest of their kin, Saris could never inherit land or title, and so turned elsewhere for power. Seeking to harness the power of darkness, they began to experiment with blood sacrifice, gradually escalating from animals to commoners, and at last to members of their own family. The result of those efforts were channeled into the pages of a grimoire, imbuing the book with sinister magic. Yet in the end, the full power they sought remained frustratingly out of reach, driving Ceres to madness, a stain on the family's legacy. Ceres's name was erased from all records. The fate of their infernal grimoire remains unclear. A history of House Zerpiel banned by Imperial Decree. Ooh, -hoo. fascinating. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is the optional battle, but you guys, like normal, I'm not gonna subject you to that. Um, I didn't even talk about the last one was really bad. Like, everything just died in one hit. And I, I don't understand the point. Like, I'll show you guys this one at the start. But yeah, the last one was just, ugh. I, I don't get why we have these. Like, they just take my time. And it's not very long. It's like 10, 15 minutes. But I, I just don't feel like it's a great use of time in this. Um, no, it's not managed. The main thing I wanted to look at was should Pavlo be assigned to someone? Because I feel like maybe. Um, so I had him with somebody. Let me see. Let me see what Pavlo does. Alright, so I'll do that, just to kind of keep him up with us. Can I assign? No. Assign aid or assign as aid. Let me see what her thing was. Oh, she can't actually come with him. Alright, whatever. We're taking Pablo. Um, let's, let me check here. What is this? Oh, we're split into two. Okay. Yeah, I'm still not going to make you guys watch this because I think it's just going to be really, really simple. Yeah, this all looks fine. Okay. Um, but I'll show you the dialogue at the beginning. It's always some, like, pretty generic dialogue. Man, look at all these monsters. Hanging around a place like this, guess they've been enjoying the spoils of war. Hunting monsters is nothing new for us. What do you say, one for old times? Everyone form up. Weapons at the ready. The hunt starts now. Yeah, eh. See you at the end of this. Alright, we finished the optional battle. He was about, like I said, very simple, very straightforward. Um, but, we can now have an appointment ceremony, because one of our adjutants, one of our little people that goes with one of our people, um, got a new class, so. Today, our forces secured another key victory. Our first battle alongside our allies in the Alliance. We took Ballastar's home today. Soon, word of our victory will spread to every corner of the continent, and it won't be long until his army comes knocking. To prepare for that, I've got a few new assignments to announce. Alright. Yep, Joanna can be a warlock now. Which I might should change her to. That's all for today. Dang, don't you look important. You could almost pass for some nobleman's daughter. Go ahead, you can say it. I look creepy. All spellcasters are creepy. <laughs> You're on a whole other level. I'm not sure how to respond to that. 
You could try. Thank you. I'm saying you look like a badass. Well, I've never gotten that one before. Uh, let's see if we should change her over. Joanna. Um, there's classes. So she's a priest right now. And I could make her a warlock. I think I want her to keep going on that priest thing for a while. Alright. That is it for camp. I believe that's everything we can do. Um, do we want to move into the next thing? I think, yes, we do. Let's save and then do that. Because we've got time, don't we? Let's check out this not very well thought out uh, banquet that we're having. Chapter 21, The Reunion. Oh, no. Castilian, the office. What the hell is this? You're throwing a feast now? After one battle? Yeah. We didn't have a choice. Besides, the banquet's already started. Oh, really? Last I checked, half your army's camped outside. I agree, it's not it's a good idea. It's not enough you don't have any lookouts posted. Now you're gonna sit in here and drink yourself stupid? No. You haven't changed one bit. Lynetta's town drunks back in action. We don't have a single lookout posted? Really? Really? Like, this just feels bad. Like, this, like, if, if we get surprise attacked here because we don't have any lookouts posted, I'm going to call BS. Like, we could easily have people that don't want to participate, like Clara and Dahlia, up there watching out for us. Like, Joanna, like... We definitely could put people up there to man lookout posts. <sighs> That's enough. No, I never met the Eden you're talking about. I'm sorry to say. But that's not who he is now. And you damn well know it. I sure thought I did. But I guess not. <sighs> Clara, you're not wrong, all right? Ballastar's coming. If I had my way, this place would be nothing but barricades and drills from sunup to sundown. Yes. But there's politics in the mix. And our favor with the lords is a finite resource. If Eden spends it now, maybe they pack up and head home. Leave us holding a castle we can't defend. I mean, really? Like, if telling them they can't party immediately it would drive them off, like, how tenuous is this alliance? Maybe the negotiations didn't go that well. You might believe tomorrow's enemy is tomorrow's problem. But that kind of thinking is how we wound up in the woods. Yeah. This was a necessary compromise. And it's not Eden telling you that. It's me. I don't totally agree. Even if you take his main stronghold, his army's still intact. Yeah. If he attacks tonight... There's no way he could get here that quick. I doubt he's even heard about it yet. Don't be so eager for trouble. I mean... I just this isn't don't about know being about that. Eager. It's about you being complacent, old man. This is just a terrible idea. There's no use debating what's already done. I'm not trying to ignore you, Clara. But lately, you're second-guessing me at every turn. That is very true. Everything I'll I say, she's got a problem I'll have the troops leave their seats as early as possible, and post scouts in case Ballastar steals a night march on us. Good. You weren't at Lenoy, so maybe you don't know this. But I learned it the hard way. Numbers don't scare Ballastar one bit. There's also a lot of, in real life, historical precedent for people arriving much faster than they're supposed to. I'll keep that in mind. It was you who put me in charge. Just making sure you haven't forgotten. Yeah. I gave you command in battle. Nothing more. Don't, don't annoy Clara. She's right. Like, just... Tell her that you weren't in favor of this. Ah, hi, Commander. You're finally here. I was just saying how much I'm enjoying myself, especially after such a grand victory. Do you like his armor? Good. But we shouldn't get too comfortable. <laughs> now that's a leader, worried even after a victory, as if Ballastar would attack after a loss like this. Let's hope not. On that note, a question. The troops outside. Am I correct in thinking those are yours, Lord Corral? That's correct. Though young pal here's got a few out there as well. Is there a problem? Have you deployed scouts towards Hollisburg? Come now. 
You're not seriously expecting Ballastar to attack tonight. Good. No, no. I just want to be prepared in case he has to flee Hollisburg and tries to retreat here. <laughs> Good. I hadn't even thought about that. Understood. I'll dispatch scouts immediately. Good. Thank you. Oh, but if he does flee our way, we'll be chasing him in the dark. So don't get too deep in your cups, huh? I hope you're not like this at every feast. Come on now, don't be so serious. Take a seat, join us. <laughs> Sorry, but I've got a lot of work to do. You've done your work. You deserve to enjoy it, don't you? Not this quick. Besides, everyone's been awaiting your arrival. It would seem a shame to leave so soon. Here, here. Strapping young buck like you can't very well sneak off before the old lady. One might begin to wonder if the High Commander is off scheming behind our backs. Oh my lord. <sighs> All right. I'll stay an hour, but not one second more. In that case, we'd better drink fast. You've got to be able to stand up to them and say, like, this is a bad idea. Like, I've got to keep us ready. This is a few hours later. If Eden gets drunk, I swear. Just once in my life, I wish something would go according to plan. <laughs> you stink like booze. Oh, no. My head's clear enough. Don't worry, I'm not second-guessing you again. Clearly, this is tactical drunkenness. It is, actually. I got you those scouts. Troops outside the walls, too. Okay. Gods, what a mess you are. I wish you'd just listened to me from the start. The Alliance is gonna fall apart as soon as Ballastar's dead. Why are you working so hard to maintain it? <laughs> Did I say something funny? You haven't changed a bit. What's that supposed to mean? I wish I could go back to how I was in Lanetta. But I can't. I've seen too much. Or... Too much on my shoulders. But you... You're the same as the day we met. Yep. Meaning? Meaning... Gods, Clara. Can't you cut me a little slack? She's right. You think playing gesture to a bunch of drunk nobles is fun for me? Okay, yeah. No. I don't. Why do you think I'm fighting so hard to beat that bastard? Don't you get it yet? Sooner or later, it's gonna come down to you against him. If you keep running from that, he'll eat you alive. Yeah, I'm worried about getting that last class upgrade, that last class change before then. What is this? Thanks for the vote of confidence. What? What is happening? Huh? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What the? Cap, come quick! Are you serious? I don't know how they did it, but Ballastar's people are everywhere! Of course they are. We gotta get the hell out of here! Mm, frustration. I hope they have a good reason for why our scouts and all that totally failed us. Like, yeah, he's just, oh my gosh, they, there's Ballastar. Okay, we've got Selena, Geo, Rosalina. Do they all have... When one or more allied units are within six tiles, this unit takes 40% less damage. Okay. Yeah, there's Pal up there. Okay, yeah, he's a battle mage, and he's gonna die. Yeah. Lila, Elias. Okay, there's nobody on the bottom left, but I assume that's coming. Merton, Chelsea, 
Alright. Yeah, this all looks real bad. Join me next time for the destruction of our alliance. Hopefully we'll see you then.